Hello everyone, I hope everything is going well. So for today's makeup look, I have for you this neutral cut crease. I love this look because it's wearable and you can use with anything that you are wearing. And this is also wearable for everybody. So I really love this kind of looks and I love this shine right on top of the matte eyeshadow. So I cannot wait to show you how to do this makeup look. So if you want to see how I got it, keep on watching and let's get started. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Know, this is really important hit the notification bell and like this video if you did so now let's get started so I'm gonna start off applying my eyeshadow base to create this cut crease this is a neutral eyeshadow so it's wearable for everybody and whoa I love this glitter on top so let's get into the tutorial so I can show you all the products that I use it I'm gonna first apply oh my god this is finishing it's almost over um, I think I used too much, but I love it. I have to get a new one. So I'm gonna grab from the cap just a little bit and I'm gonna apply in my eyelids using my clean finger. And this will help to stick the shadows in the place and also make the colors more vibrant. Today I'm using warm tones to create this makeup look. Ah, and this is the Paint Pot Soft Toker by MAC. I forgot to mention what it is. <laughs> so now to create this makeup look, I'm gonna use a product that I love so much. This is the 27 palette. I love the colors, they are amazing. And in my tear bacteria, I'm gonna use Skeleton Kiss, also by Melt Cosmetics. This color is so beautiful. So this is what I'm gonna use to apply underneath the glitter and the glitter i'm gonna show you later first i'm gonna create the shape of my cut crease and to create my cut crease i'm gonna um here <laughs> i'm gonna use this little tiny brush you can use many brushes that is in my brush set as well so i'm gonna pick up the color tricky and i'm gonna start to create the shape of my cut crease Now I'm going to apply the color Moon Child in my crease to define a little bit and to create more depth. I'm going to apply it using this little angled brush and this is the brush A06 Winged Liner Brush. I love this one. It's also in my brush set. So I'm going to apply a little bit to define my crease. Now in my crease, I'm going to apply this beautiful shade right here and this is one more thing. I'm going to apply it with this little angled brush and this is the medium angled shading brush. I love this one, it's also in my set. Also, I just clean up my eyelid a little bit using a concealer brush and the same eyeshadow base that I was using before. And now I'm gonna apply the shade. In the tear duct area, I just applied the color Skeleton Kiss. Now, right on top, I'm gonna apply this glitter. This is a pigment by NYX Cosmetics and this is number 20. It's so beautiful, especially for brides. Now I'm gonna line my eyes using the gel liner by Inglot with my favorite brush to line my eyes and this is A06 by Sigma Beauty. Okay, so I just applied my fake lashes and now I'm gonna apply my foundation so I'm gonna pull my hair back and today I'm gonna use the Conceal Perfect Skin by Milani and now I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna use this one 
to blend the foundation in my skin. Now I'm going to apply concealer under my eyes and I'm going to use one of my favorites, the Age Rewind by Maybelline. I really like this foundation, it creates a perfect skin look my skin. I really like it, it's so good. I'm using the shade 00. So now to set everything, I'm gonna just apply a powder and today I'm gonna use the translucent powder by Too Faced and I'm gonna apply it using the Spotlight Duster brush, this one. And now to contour, highlight and blush my face, I'm going to use the Sculpt palette by Sigma Beauty and the blush one as well. So I'm going to use... Um, oh, first let me tell you about these palettes. They are some of the best palettes I have ever used in my face to contour because the products blend so well and they are so pigmented. So I'm going to use these two colors to contour and bronze my face and this one to highlight. Also to contour my face, I'm going to use the Soft Angled Contour Brush, this one by Sigma. And to apply the highlighter, I'm going to use the Strobing Foam Brush. Now I'm gonna apply my liquid lipstick and today I'm gonna use Child Star by Too Faced Cosmetics. I love this color and this lipstick smells so good. And now to finish off my makeup look, I'm gonna apply the setting spray Slay All Day by George Cosmetics in the fragrance rosy. I love it makes my highlighter stand out much more and look so beautiful and smell so good. And I'm gonna let it dry naturally. So that's it my lovies for this look. I really love how the look turned out and I think it's so beautiful. I'm looking here down in the mirror and I really like this kind of shadows because everything is neutral and I really love neutral colors. So I think this is so beautiful and wearable. So that's it for this look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you somehow and give me your suggestions here down below in the comments. I want to know what I want to see here next in my channel and I see you later in the next tutorials. Oh, oh my god! 
All of the brushes that I used here in my makeup look are in my brush set with Sigma Beauty and And this is a must have because here I put all my favorite precision brushes so you can create size this simple cut crease to a glam artistic makeup look so you can do many things with this set and I really hope that you love it me and Sigma Beauty were working on this brush set from a long time till we have the perfect options for you guys so I really hope that you love it much as I do because I'm insane about this kit <laughs> so that's it thank you so much for watching and I see you later in the next tutorials bye